Yo, 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 you guys, it's that cartoonist back once again with another Doom Patrol episode. This episode's title is Therapy Patrol. If y'all digging the content, go ahead and hit your boy with a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll jump right into this. The episode opens up with everybody in literally a therapy session. We see a young Rita, and she's meeting one of her childhood actors, like idols, and the idol's kind of a jerk. But she does see something in Rita that shows that she wants to actually be an actress. And she has the quote unquote glow, as they say. And it goes to a present day Rita, and we see that she is having trouble maintaining her human form. She actually gets a grip on it, until she runs into Crazy Jane, who makes a derogatory comment to her, and then she ends up turning back into her blob form. She ends up falling into a vent in her blob form, and then she maintains her form and regains it and tries to at least crawl and get to her next area. And then she has a whole come to Jesus meeting with herself. And she ends up regaining her form only to lose it again. Larry has a flashback of when he was a child and even then they could see that he was different from other kids. And he ends up having another, well, a flashback with the negative energy and the negative energy helps him to communicate and admit to himself how he really felt. And that was the first time in years Larry had actually done that. Victor has a unique flashback. When he was younger, he went to the doctor's office with his mother and we learned that he was actually climbing a tree his father told him not to climb. And rather than tell the father, the mother said, some things we can keep to ourselves, son. And they ended up having that between themselves. And we later see that Vic has a profile, a dating app profile, and his father kept it away from him in order for him to focus and to not be distracted by what's going on in social media. So Vic gets really mad and starts going on this profile and seeing what and who is available. And then he meets this nice girl. Unfortunately, she didn't realize he was actually part machine as well. The software in his head, the grid, actually gets really invasive and starts like kind of spying on the girl, gets like um, birthday pictures from when she was a child, um, just all these kind of profile pics. And like, it's a part of the new protocol with Vic not having anything to monitor what he's doing. So he's kind of getting a grip and trying to like not go so invasive, even though the grid is kind of reading his innermost thoughts. And then Robot Man attacks him for no reason. We have a flashback of Crazy Jane when she was a child, she's just crying, and I guess her caretaker or her father is looking over her, then walks back out as she's crying. She then goes into the chief's room and sees some of the tapes that the chief had on her, starts to watch them, and she switches between personalities, breaking some of the tapes, then being remorseful about it, breaking more tapes, then being remorseful about it. Cliff has a flashback of being in an abusive home, you know, his father beat his, his mother, and then it goes to present day. Cliff ends up going to his old friend's house who's taking care of his daughter, and he starts to beat him up. And we, he's like, Cliff, I didn't know you were alive this whole time. Only to find out that Cliff is hallucinating this whole scene, and he's attacking Cyborg, and he's attacking Crazy Jane, and the negative energy is kind of flying around the house. So after he kind of regains his composure, he states they need to have a therapy session. And all the Doom Patrol members go in and start to have, well, the therapy session. The team begins to have a real conversation. Rita says that, you know, she doesn't know who she is. Larry talks about, you know, how he, how he loved this guy or whatever. And he just, he ruined so many lives because he could not own up to his own issues. Um, Cyborg admitting to killing his mom, not intentionally, but out of rage because he ended up making some of the chemical spill in her in his mother's lab. And then the whole time, Robot Man's like making jokes and stuff and just being kind of comical, which is actually pretty funny, even though these are serious issues. And then Crazy Jane ends up showing them a painting of, I guess, the hangman's daughter um, painting a picture of Cyborg, I guess, killing the team or something of that nature. Crazy Jane ends up having a really nasty conversation with Robot Man saying that, you know, the reason why you can't raise your daughter is because you're not a real man. And then Robot Man says, you know what, only like, like 164th of you, making a note of all the other personalities that are in there. And this really hurts Crazy Jane's feelings and she ends up walking out. Then all of a sudden, Robot Man goes berserk on the team and they have to stop him. And Cyborg pretty much grabs him and goes like, yeah. 
And then we see that there's a rat that comes out, coming out of his mouth, and I'm just like, what the heck? We find out that this rat is called Admiral Whiskers. And the reason why he was even dealing with the Doom Patrol in the first place was because they ran over his mother by accident. And then Mr. Nobody got to Admiral Whiskers and kind of helped groom him into the <laughs> into Robot Man's attacker and basically had him destroying Robot Man's systems from the inside. And once that's over, Admiral Whiskers leaves. And that's the end of the episode. This was a really good episode in getting depth on some of the characters and like reestablishing what they're about and kind of them growing as people too. So I really enjoyed that. But thank you all so much for watching. Thanks for tuning in. See tunes. Out.